George Jones' Drunken Lawnmower Joyride. You can't talk about old country without bringing up this guy. He was a legend for his iconic country hits as much as his hard drinking. I mean, this guy makes Johnny Cash look like a pleasant social drinking buddy. His drinking often resulted in brushes with the law, specifically in 1980 with a DUI arrest. In fact, it is said that he missed so many gigs that his nickname quickly became No Show Jones. In his tell-all book, he recounted one time where he had been drunk for several days when his wife, Shirley, hid the keys for every car they owned so it would be physically impossible for Jones to hit the road and buy some booze. Obviously, there were no Ubers at this time, or DoorDash either. But George Jones, being the clever drunk he was, he was sneaky and remembered that he had a ride and lawnmower. Jones wrote, I can vaguely remember my anger at not being able to find the keys to anything that moved and looking longly out the window at a light that shone over our property there, gleaming in the glow, was that 10 horsepower rotary engine under a seat. A key glistened in the ignition. Given that the mower's top speed was 5 miles per hour, it took Jones 90 minutes to make it to the liquor store, but get there he did. I bet you Shirley was pissed when she saw the lawnmower was gone. Luckily, the police didn't find him, and at least he couldn't get a speeding ticket.